Recent study suggests women who carry the ovarian cancer gene are being urged to have their ovaries removed by age 35. Every year, over 22,000 women are diagnosed with ovarian cancer. The report published in the Journal of Clinical Oncology says that women who carry a BRCA1 gene mutation and have their ovaries removed dramatically reduce their odds of developing cancer. 23BC's Leah Steinberg found out why women are taking action earlier than before. It's the diagnosis no woman wants to hear. It could be life or death, really. And for Wendy Cardamone, it came as a total shock. I found a, a lymph node on my uh, chest area here and ended up being diagnosed with ovarian cancer. Now a recent study reveals if a woman carries the ovarian cancer gene, also known as the BRCA1 gene, it's recommended to have their ovaries removed by age 35. Now that seems young, and I agree, that is young. But that's when the risk really starts to rise dramatically. Here at the Comprehensive Blood and Cancer Center in Bakersfield, clinical laboratory scientists are testing women for the gene through a blood test. What we do is we collect 7.5 ml of um, blood from a patient that's in the cell safe tube, and then we can actually say how many blood cells the patient has. Women who decide to have the test and have their ovaries removed early can reduce the risk of ovarian cancer or even death by 80%. If you know your mother had the gene, you really need to get the test done. Then I'd say 100% is necessary. If you don't have a relative who you know has had the gene, then it depends on kind of other risk factors that you're going to define with your doctor. Ovarian cancer is often called the silent killer because symptoms may not appear until after the cancer has spread. I just think that would be something that it would take some time to really think about and consider. Leah Steinberg, 23 ABC. And as many as 70% of women who know they carry the gene actually choose to have their ovaries removed.